Hey guys, it's Jeff. I uh, just wanted to show you my latest prop. Um, I think this is going to be the last one I'm going to be able to do before Halloween. It's, what is it? It's October 8th right now. So um, I got some other little things, some static prompts, but um, I wanted to do this pneumatic coffin for quite a while now. And if you saw one of my earlier videos, I picked up a couple pneumatic cylinders at Mendelssohn's. Um, for like nothing, I mean, they were like five bucks a piece. So I got two cylinders and a valve, a three way valve for like $15. So I was able to do this whole coffin for like, I think it was under a hundred dollars or maybe just over a hundred dollars, but fairly cheap for, I think what comes out is a pretty good effect. So first, let me show you, um, I'm going to start this over here. Okay, I'm not moving right now because there's a motion sensor, if you see right down here. Um, so let me, let me move one more time and set it off again. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look at the inside and I'll show you how so, it works. So here's the inner workings. Um, I've got... This one, this I think it's a one inch bore cylinder, which is way overkill. I mean, this thing is a powerful cylinder, but I'm only running like 20 psi for this whole unit to work. So the air comes in here on this three way valve, and then I've got a I've got a splitter here that goes to this valve to the cylinder, and then the other one goes all the way back here to the back of the skeleton which is nearly impossible to see right now. So luckily I recorded a clip earlier before I painted everything to show you the linkage. So we'll cut to that right now. Okay, here's a better look at the linkage that I got here in the cylinder that makes the skeleton pop up. As you can see here, I've got my cylinder. And this is, this is a double acting cylinder, but I'm only using uh, I've only got a three-port uh, uh, valve, so I'm kind of cheating here. I'm just going to use an airline in here, which causes the cylinder to pop out. And I've added a string that allows it, allows it to return. So here's, as you can see out here, I've got a leakage here, just a threaded rod. And that, uh, it's a pretty simple setup. Okay, so back to... The bottom of the coffin um, right here you can see I've got a motion detector which is just taken off of a, a standard light from Lowe's I actually used actually used the other part here for my light so I just took that apart and wired it in so um, it's like $12 for that so it's a pretty I'm, I, you could control the uh, sensitivity of it by putting some duct tape over the motion over the front of the motion detector um, but we'll I'll see how it acts now but it seems to be working pretty well um, and and for the sound I've got my wife's I uh, I uh, pod shuffle and I just got um, a little clip off of um, iTunes um, it's like seven seconds long and uh, what's great about this shuffle is that you can loop a song over and over and over again so if I turn it on here see so right now this song is playing over and over and so it's always active but what's happening here is that the powered speakers are being active with everything else when the motion sensor comes comes on so I think it's a pretty cool effect. I mean, uh, I could have done this all with, you know, obviously the best way to do this would be with um, um, a peekaboo or something like that. Um, and I may end up doing that eventually to maybe get a little bit more control. I could actually control each cylinder separately, but I don't know. I'm pretty happy with the setup. So uh, let me know what you think and uh, happy Halloween.